Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a what I got my Nana for her birthday haul. Let's go, let's get cracking, shall we? I'm gonna start with the classic tin of biscuits. It's only a little one, but I just thought it was a really cute little tin. And everyone's grandparents love tea and biscuits, right? You know, she'll eat the biscuits and afterwards maybe put her sewing supplies inside. It's really cute, I just like the tin. Now, the next present. This is a bit silly. Yeah, that's right, I've got a tin of baked beans. We had a conversation about baked beans and she was like, oh, it's awful. You just can't get them anywhere because I think people were panic buying at that point. And I was like, Nan, do you want a tin of my baked beans? I've got loads because <laughs> I'm stocked up. And she was like, oh no, I don't want to take them away from you. I was thinking, I cannot have my Nana go into lockdown with no baked beans in her cupboard. So I gave her a big tin, but for her birthday, she gets a long tin. I really like the little mini versions of food sometimes. I'm like, oh, it's cute. She's either going to open this and be like, that's stupid, or she's going to think it's funny. I don't know which way it's going to go. Has to be hinds, always has to be hinds, people. So number three is this, a Nivea lip balm. Watermelon shine with natural oils. Ooh. Winter's coming, so I thought a nice Nivea moisturizing. Well, my lips are really dry. I'm like, maybe I need one. Would be a good idea. So that is the next present on the list. Two Egyptian cotton face cloths. Who calls them face cloths? Flannels. They're flannels, right? Two flannels. I got my nan another flannel. <laughs> but two, because they come in a pack. They're really nice and soft to be honest with you. They're just from Tesco for their Fox and Ivy, so the posh Tesco brand, right? Um, good Housekeeping Institute approved 2020. Nice blush pink, very in, in with the grannies, in with the young people. Ooh, ooh, blush pink. I think towels and those kind of everyday things that you use, like I got a towel for my birthday and it was great because they're never the same, are they? You wash them a few times and then they just lose their nice, like, Nice snuggly, fluffy feel. So, yeah, I just thought, ooh, my nan would like some new flannels. I'm running out of room around me, people. I'm trying to buy people things for their birthdays and Christmas that allow them to try something new or just do something a little bit different. I always normally get her like a, a new book for crosswords or Sudoku, you know, whatever. But this year, I was like, nah, she can have one of these. What is this, everyone? What is it? Here. It's a mermaid! It's a mermaid sun capture. I just thought she might enjoy a little painting session and <laughs> painting a mermaid. I don't know, again, this is 50 50. She might think I'm crazy. But that's also fine. But she might, she might really enjoy this. I don't know. But I just thought I'll buy it first. She's the option. She can have it and enjoy it. Or if it's not a cup of tea, yeah, it don't really matter. And then the last thing that I brought my Nana for her birthday is ginger beer. Every time we go out for a meal somewhere, my Nana's always like, do you have ginger beer? And I think some places she gets the real like weak stuff, like, and she's like, it's not right. This, like, if you don't like strong ginger beer, don't get this, because it's real strong. I really like ginger, and even I was like, oh, I'm not sure I'm in the mood for this strong. This is a bit too strong. <laughs> but if you like ginger, this is the one for you. It's very good. No calorie. Fever Tree. I do like Fever Tree. They are a decent soft drink brand. I just thought then she can have a little, little drink at home. Ginger beer. I don't think it's got any alcohol in it, has it? I think it's just called ginger beer because it beer brew. Ginger beer because they brew it with ginger. The last thing <laughs> on my Why Did I Go My Nana for her birthday? What is this? Roses. Yeah, yeah, they're the best, aren't they? Beat celebrations, beat heroes. Oh, controversial. Yeah, there you go. These are my favourite, you know. If you're uh, after some ideas for the future. Other people normally get her more like, like fancy chocolates, fancy biscuits. So I thought, actually, sometimes you just want her roses. You put them down, down next to a chair, have a couple in the evening. Mm, sounds all right. I should have bought myself a book, huh? My Nana loves a good birthday card, so I thought I'd get her this one. It's so catch. Look at it. <laughs> Country companions and vintage. Oh, and there's a little, there's a little bit on the back. Say hello to Tommy Nass. 
the cutest and the giggliest little fellow in the wood stump. He loves fishing, boating, or generally messing around. He's often seen taking his pet ladybirds for a walk around the village. How random! I love that little detail. There you go, everyone. And that is what I bought my Nana for her birthday. I'm having a bit of anxiety, like, did I get her enough? But, you know what, it's done. That is what I got her, so... I, I always do this, and if I don't feel like it's good enough, then I'll make sure she has a better Christmas present or I'll buy something in between. But I was really struggling to think this year, because she has everything. Like, I always get her, like, plants, tea and Maria, she likes that sort of thing, jams. But I was like, oh, she's had all of that, and then, I don't want to give her a photo frame or something like, you know, like that. Because, yeah, she'd like it. She has so many women pictures around her house. <laughs> like, it, it's crazy. Right, everyone, that was what I bought my Nana for her birthday. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Talk to me in the comments. And I will see you very soon. Bye.